I used aesthetics instead of knives and bullets to protest against stuffed shirts and hypocrites. This comment made by Francis Newton Sousa in 1961 brings to mind the many similarly savage and satirical images of male heads that he produced in the course of his career. This one's known as politician. The target of his satire is not always a politician, it might be a priest or a businessman, any kind of patriarchal figure. A number of people have been tempted to interpret these in relation to events in Sousa's early life. He was brought up as a Roman Catholic, and his father died uh, when Sousa was an infant. And people who knew him said that this experience left him with an abiding bitterness, a sort of visceral hatred of all patriarchal figures. The irony is that he painted this in 1959 at a period of his life of comparative ease and freedom. It was about the middle of the period when he was living in London. And although he'd been struggling in early years, at this point he had got the support of a very wealthy American patron. Given that, that freedom to paint what he liked, he chose to paint fierce images like this. He saw himself very much as an outsider, as the bad boy of art and a very anti-establishment figure. And I think that connects up with the, the roughness, the, the ferocity with which the painting is produced. He's not trying to please anybody. You know, he's assaulting your sense of aesthetics. One interviewer once said to him, you don't paint to please people, do you? You just please yourself. And his response was to say, I paint for angels to show them what men and women really look like. <laughs>